V. Heard you had a gig for me. You heard right. I need a driver. Mm-hmm. And for what, exactly? Oh, you know, this and that. I got a few errands to run. A couple of friends that need paying a visit. The usual. Listen, I'm a straight shooter, so let me cut right to the chase. I heard you're the best in town. Thing is, I like working with the best. And I know the best don't come cheap. I'm not gonna get into the nuts and bolts, cause if what they say about you is true, you can handle anything. So let's get this settled. You got what it takes? Or are they wrong about you? All right, I'm in. Japan town, then. By the market entrance. Give a few honks and I'll stroll up. Later, V. Hey, you're V, yes? Oh, fuck. You didn't answer my question. Yeah, that's me. Good, then let's go. Where to? Little China. I have a craving for Kung Pao chicken. Extra spicy. bother you? What? The grenade. You know, the one in your face? Uh, you get used to it. I just gotta be careful not to pull the pin when I want to pick my nose. Nice out here. A lot of stuff has changed. Where are you from? Brazil. You know, down in South. I know where Brazil is. <sighs> you never know with you gringos. Tiger claws. Heard of them? <laughs> Who hasn't? Got any friends in there? No, why? Just asking. Can't help being curious. This is the place. Wait for me here and keep the engine running. We came all this way to get takeout? You could say that. Grenades up your ass, too? 
Not bad, right? Would have been even better if you told me what you were planning from the get-go. <laughs> it's true what they say. You're good. Really fucking good. Got a stick up your ass, though. This is where we part ways. Good luck, V. And, uh, relax a bit, okay? Now are you gonna tell me about the grenade? Oh, that. My brother ripped it off during a fight. With pliers. Unhappy family. You don't know the half of it. I could have chipped another one, but... I don't know. I think this matches my style more. Uh-huh. Besides, it's a real icebreaker with the ladies. Got me powder for my nose. <laughs> and does it work? Not really. What about my payment? What about it? Here. Like I said before, the best don't come cheap. Take care, V. And hey, keep your nose to the ground. Johnny wants to ask you out on a date. What do you think? Johnny's asking, or is it you? Johnny? You're the one who said you got no trouble telling us apart. Okay. And where'd we go? Where'd you want to go? Silver Pixel Cloud in North Oak. Okay. I'll swing by the afterlife, pick you up. Some crew taking you along as bait? That a compliment? You look... different. <laughs> Try again. Maybe you'll find some charm third time around. Hey, Rogue. Ready? Again, you. We going? Where's Johnny? Couldn't make it after all? You look... 
That Johnny's wire? Or yours? When's he gonna show? I'm just your driver. See, you keep him on a short leash. <laughs> Wise beyond your years. This Johnny's Porsche? <laughs> Where'd you get it? That's what was in the container. The one Grayson was talking about. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Got a lot of memories in this car. Let's go. Silver Pixel Cloud, your favorite place? Once, probably. Haven't been there in ages. Drive-ins went out of style a century ago. But Silver Pixel's still hanging in there. Sounds like a preem place for a day. Thought so, too. Which is why I suggested Johnny take me there. A million years ago. So it wasn't his idea? Of course not. His idea of a romantic night out was blowing up a Osaka HQ. All right, V. Tell me what's going on. For real. Meaning... Johnny doesn't do a thing without an ulterior motive. So what's in play this time? Johnny's changed. He really does want to spend some time with you. No hooks, no lines, no sinkers. All right. Taking it all in. <laughs> a selfless Johnny Silverhand. Apparently, you're a positive influence on him. Here we are. Fuck. I don't believe it. It really has been years. Managed to shut the whole thing down. V, try to get inside. Can't stop us, won't stop us. We asked you out on a date. All right. Do your thing. I'll watch. Okay, gotta be the past, this. Guess we really are going to the movies. Go. Well done. Try and get the projector started. I'll get us some seats. Sure thing. Right, let's go check the projector. Entrance is over here.
Okay, looks like I found the projector. You wouldn't happen to know how to get it up and running. Glad to see. Look at that. Last played Bushido 10. Perfect. Looks like a spurt of runny shit. V, we're at a drive-in. Movie's the last thing we care about. Just want some background noise, a little blood, tits, and gore, that sort of thing. Bushido will give you that. All right, V, run along. I'll take it from here. Have fun, you crazy kids. Grabbed us the best spot. Hop on up. This is how you imagine this evening going? Always knew things would have to change for us to just go out and catch a movie. Never imagined they'd change this much. Let's pretend it's 2015, huh? We just met, and I got no idea what a bastard you are. Sure, lured you to the movies so we could bang, by the way. <laughs> It's technically a possibility, you know. Okay, so it's 2015. If you could do it all again, what would you change? Anything at all? I'd do everything in my power not to lose you. Johnny, I... Hey, hey, hey. What's this? Nothing, it's just... Had a lot of time to think while you were away. What ifs and all that. All that counts is I'm back. With you. Think that's way better than any what if. But all we got's this one night. It's more than I ever could have asked for. Rogue, I'm here on borrowed time in a borrowed body. But I'm here. Johnny, I can't. It's not right. <sighs> Mina, not fair to V. Not fair to you. Tried so hard to pretend nothing's changed. To pretend I'm the same rogue you knew. Actually managed to fool myself for a little. <sighs> Get back on my own. Rogue! 
fuck? Rogue's gone. Yep. Guess things did not go swimmingly. Nope. Was gonna be a nice night at the drive-in. Now she's mad and won't tell me what about. Any guesses? Remember Grayson? How they spoke? How weird it was? Weird's not the word, I don't think. He was toying with her. Could be something to that. Gotta mull it over. For now, take me to North Oak. That's supposed to help you figure out Rogue? No. Carrie. Tell you once we're there. Movie was a turd wrapped in crepe paper. This ought to work. Well, so why are we here exactly? Heard Carrie got himself a buck of mansion here. Done well. Where'd you hear anything about Carrie? In and about town. Scream sheets are full of shit about him. Oh, right. You weren't around. Mm-hmm. Your boy's night out. So what? Wanna pay him a visit? Yep. Seems as good a time as any. Know what they're writing about him? He's depressed, attempted suicide. What really worried he wants to hurt himself? Who knows? Either way, could give him some pointers. Meaning you want to go in person? Gotta hand you the reins again. Yes. Behaved myself last time, didn't I? I think I warrant another furlough for good behavior. What was that about attempted suicide? Amateur hour. Didn't even cobble together the right audience. Tried to put a bullet through his skull in his room. Bodyguard took his gun like candy from a baby. Could just be the rumor mill. Sure, could. But I want to know. Okay. But I want to know what you plan to do. Nothing stupid, I promise. Just want to see how he's doing. How you plan to tell him it's you? Could be dealing with some real personal shit right now. 
Might not be the best time to mess with his head. V-Care was always dealing with personal shit. That's why, in spite of everything else, we got along. Don't worry. I'll play it by ear, sensitively. First things first, we gotta get into that house. Okay. Just let me know when you want to take the wheel. Ugly as seafood barf. Hope it was ex something's got to justify this level of tacky. collection well now i am impressed played a few of these myself back in our samurai days what's this Second conflict. Carried always goes straight for kitsch with titles. Guess nothing's changed. Okay. Even I know that one. An oldie but a goodie. What's this? Old single we put out. No idea why Carrie hoards shit like that. Never fade away. Guess if I had a fave. It'd be that one. Probably the only actual necessity in this whole pad.
Acts like that run us many eddies. Forget it. We couldn't afford it. That's Carrie's fave. Butterfly Carey emerging from his silky samurai chrysalis. All right, I'll give him that one. Looks like he's showering. Alone, too. Good thing, believe me. Okay, leave the rest to me. I'll get him out of there. Drop one of Misty's special pills. Let's go. Okay. so much better now let's see what you're up for show and which are actually strummable we lost everything keep playing Silverhand tell me before he died. Told you to leave Samurai. Go your own way. Clearly I was right, as I often am. Johnny fucking Silverhand. Fuck. I mean, how? Surprise. Motherfucker! Okay, weren't expecting me. I get it. Oh, fucking contraire. Been waiting 50 years to do that. So you changed a bit. Nice rack. Sporting a new style? Yeah, kinda. What about you? Shit. Johnny. Oh, man. I need a drink. All right. Come on. Tell me. Why do you look like a small-time kleptopunk from the afterlife? This is V. You'd like her? The fuck, Donnie? Doesn't explain a thing. Nice place. Ain't seen much of it yet. Moved in after the fourth album came out. All sold well, apparently. Fuck you, Johnny. Don't even start. Who'd you sign with? Shit. With Arasaka. Mornings, I record at their studio. Then evenings, Yori pops over for a little neighborly cookout. Hmm. And who'd you really sign with? MSM Records. Another pillar of society. Come on. Sit down with me. Tell me where you've been all this time. Live here all by your lonesome? Nah, got my cook, Ariel, but you know, he's off today. Miguel, uh, one of my 
Not your biz, Jun. Sit down. Start talking. Steal yourself for a long story. I just really want it to be tragic. Sad as all fuck over all those years. Cause if I hear you spent them with the nomads, open road, winning your hair, or cool and relaxed in orbit, and now you've just popped by to shit all over my life, well, I'ma lose my damn mind. Oh, it is a heartbreaker. Oh, fuck! Remember? The one damn time Henry showed up sober and clean as a whistle. Uh-huh. And played yeah. absolute tripe. At least Danny was happy. Never did get what Danny saw in that guy. I mean, smart imp, that one. Maybe too smart for the company she kept. Nah, Denny always went for losers, incapable of dressing themselves. Oh, Hank was perfect. Half a brain and high all the time. She got to rescue him over and over again. Why'd she never try and fix me? Would have had to get in line, that's why. Who's that? Louise, the ex-wife. The what? <laughs> You're kidding. How long did last? Eh, hey, too long. But don't worry. It worked out well. For her. Gave her my house in Tokyo. Cars. Kids. Yeah. Worked out pretty well for you, too, then. Looking at him now. Those really were the best of times. Playing fucking rat-infested dumps. Argued before every gig. Had no idea what we wanted to play, and never had an Ed to our name. Nancy? Control freak. Henry smelled like zappers and piss. I was always stealing your pants. Hella good times, man. Stuff about you being depressed. It true? Nope. Promo strategy. Suicide attempts, too. Think putting a bullet through your skull will help your sales? Didn't work for you. Nobody remembers Samurai. Now you're just butthurt because I managed fine without you. Fuck me. Got no answer to that. Still in touch with the gang? Just Nance. Changed her name to Bess Isis. Works for N54 News. Could track down Denny and Henry if you want. Maybe get together? You know, jam or something? Best ISIS. Damn, Nance really went for it. Though all I hear is part-time stripper with a thing for ancient Egypt. Shame you died. Sure she would have welcomed your input. How is she in general, besides having nothing to do with music? Could ask her yourself. Henry probably killed his own liver. Nah, I would have heard if he was gone. Got mutual friends. A few calls and I should be able to track him down. Then he might still be in the biz. Actually had talent. And a spine. Yeah, released something not too long ago. Moved to North Oak, too. You just said you weren't in touch. Didn't hear it from her. I think she might be avoiding me. You ever leave this house? Nope. You want to bring Samurai back? Nah, no. Could do one gig, play some dive where nobody plays us. I mean, got my reputation to think about. But I won't have to explain what happened. All this? Nah, we'll spare him. Hella boring story. Biochips, Arasaka's evil schemes, magic pills. We'll just say you're my new output. All right, let's do it. Fuck yeah!
Okay. Send you Nancy's number in a sec. I'll go after Henry and Denny. Hmm. I'm not there. Figure it out with V. Sure. Uh, you two get along? Not lately, no. We don't have much of a choice, though. How am I... Johnny, you okay? No. Ah, so you must be V. Johnny mentioned something like this might happen. You two have fun at least? <laughs> that a hint of disapproval I hear? Just sit tight for a bit. Rest. Don't worry about a thing. The hell is this concert thing? Did you hear that? Gets sharper as the pills wear off. So? Want to see Samurai live? Probably won't get another chance. What if this ends up like the rogue thing? One big letdown. Nah, this is different. Carrie needs this concert. Okay, call in Nancy. Fuck yeah, nice. Nancy? I mean... Bess? Bess Isis? No. This is her underpaid, underappreciated assistant. Steven, N54 News. How can I help? Wanna talk to Bess? She's not here. Calling from Carrie Uridine's residence. Cool. But Bess still isn't here. She was supposed to be back two days ago. Went to the Totentons to shoot some stuff, story on Maelstrom. Call back next week or just watch the news. If anything happens to her, I'll be the first to cover it. Got a bad feeling, V. Think we better head to the Totentons. starting to come together. No media would ever go for the Taunton tents. Except Nancy.
like your style. Minimalist. Used to have chrome just like that. Start moving. Totem tans too? Fuck yeah. Third floor. Press the button. Come on, my fingers are numb. Hear that? Tinnitus today. All right, guys. This one I like. Later. Go on. You'll blend in. No problem. Is that what you want about the game? At least Roy sent some fucking charisma. Remember that tape from All Foods? That's the Rimbo who did Royce. No, 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 no. Wouldn't be that stupid to show up here. You the one? Looking for Bess Isis. Guess I gotta spell it out. You the one took out Royce? Yeah. What, anyone actually boo-hoo when he went? Uh, look at this. A chance at a nick in the barrel. Get the fuck out! Now! That's the All Foods, punk! I'm not blind! What do you want? Watch out for that one. Bess Isis. Mean anything to you? You work with her? No, just gotta talk. Heard she's here. She's here, but you talk to Brick first. Let's call what happens to you. I'll take you. So Brick's in for Royce now. Yeah, heard what happened at All Foods. Probably thinking Brick will be grateful, huh? What, that'd disappoint you? No, and Brick's not in a position to demonstrate feelings of any kind. Yeah, if by alternative, you mean we don't give a fuck what people think. Okay, then let's say extreme music. What's that mean to you? Look, baby, you keep trying to slap a label on us. No, I'm trying to understand you. Chaos, a wall of noise and distortion. Break! Got another guest! V, hey, what a surprise. What can I do for you? That's it. Looks like I'm interrupting. Wrapping up, actually. Bessie has overstayed her welcome. Yet I still haven't gotten answers to all my questions. Make something up. You're a journalist. Should be second nature. Say it's an orgy of noise or whatever. Shoot up your hustle on the Ebonike. Just there the other day. Your people didn't put up much of a fight. In that case, you should go back. I'll see to it they take good care of you. Jill, just some friendly advice. Appreciate it. Seems your people are holding the grudge. <laughs> hold those better than they hold their iron. Show a little understanding. Try not to piss them off. Carrie Uridine sent me, with some biz for Bess. Carrie? Did he suddenly remember I exist? You can go. Huh? Just like that? I ask you? No. That's what I thought. Trying to run a business here. Thanks, Brick. That was... enlightening. Let's go. Let's Delta. Appreciate it. Thanks. Seems all right. Sure. Just too bad he doesn't know squat about music. That's what you wanted to talk to him about? Yeah. Tinnitus. The totem tant sound. 
What I got out of brick was scum. Why is the elevator so damn slow in this dump? Cars outside. So what? Giving up on your story? I won't learn anything about Maelstrom's music? Got lots of footage. Need to look through it, see what I can patch together. Okay, come on. Fuck. Just hope the car's still where I parked it. Brick was the safe option. Really should have talked to the asses from Tinnitus. You got some sort of in with them? Brick invited me to one of their gigs. Problem is the lineup. Changes every time. Oh, for fuck's sake! Oh, it could've been worse. That's why you got a souvenir. Fuck souvenirs. I'm headed straight back to the editing room. Wanna talk? Gotta come with me. Hunger like this, hope it gets us there in one piece. All right, so what's Carrie want? Wants to bring back Samurai. One gig, one night. There is no samurai without Silverhand. Gonna be a gig in Silverhand's honor. What's got into Carrie all of a sudden? Thought he got over this ages ago. Well, guess it doesn't really matter. What's in it for me? <laughs> That's for you and Carrie to figure out. I'll be sure to ask him. How do you know, Brick? Saved his life once. Well, well. Ever thought about joining Trauma Team? We're here. Hop out. All right, so the concert? Tell Carrie I'll put it together. Be in touch. Okay, thanks. Went pretty damn well. Now call Carrie. Hey, so how'd it go? Talk to Nance? Yep, she agreed. Even said she'd organize the gig. Still a control freak. Awesome. Managed to contact Henry or Denny? Just Henry so far. Dragged him out of rehab. Great story, actually. Henry didn't know. Denny's been in Night City all this time. On his way over to see her now. Gonna be a surprise. We're all gonna meet over at Denny's. What, me too? Why? You're gonna play with us, aren't you? We gotta meet the others. Send you the address. <laughs>
see those. Uh, what happened here? She must have been renovating. Henry must have borrowed the truck. Gonk always was good at improvising. Maybe they're home. Try the intercom. Right then. Guess we keep looking. beat us here. You fucking got Who boy? Danny, what? Sounds sadly for me. What are you doing here? This is really your house? V. Uh, this is your here. fucking pool? We got a problem. You're gonna pay for this, you piece of shit! You bet I will! Just so I can come back again! Is this Maybe supposed that? to be Henry's surprise? You left me to die yeah, I obviously missed a few beats. Left you Looks to like die. he was holding some sort of grudge. Oh, so he flooded the pool die. with concrete. Why Henry did often get emotional. Get the fuck out! You know what happened between them? From what I've come to what understand, Already? one day, then he no disappeared without tour. a word, then hid from Henry. I imagine that wasn't too to hard fam. in his state of mind. Either out of it Go or anywhere in rehab. Near them and you're dead. Yep. That is, I till I not, gave I'm Henry her address. Fucking head off. What about the oh, concert? I haven't gotten a know. chance to ask Denny yet. Doesn't Don't look good, what? though. That I lost he years of my to life to a Carrie will just make it like worse. <sighs> Not really yeah. in my biz. Go, go. They'll get past it in a Is that how you remember it? Carrie didn't piss all over himself out of joy a lot when he more saw than me you. either.